How's it going, ladies and gentlemen? My name is Ruffle Rowlett. Welcome to a brand new video, guys. Today, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, ladies and gentlemen. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to be covering the Scandinavian rumor. Now, the Scandinavian rumor is an old one. This is one that is, uh, is, is a bit strange, I will tell you right now. Now... Quick heads up for anybody that's curious about the, uh, you know, this rumor in particular. This one came out a long time ago, uh, aka in 2018, this one came out. So beware uh, when you're about to listen to what I have to say that this is a rumor with um, a strange amount of information. So keep that in mind. But ladies and gentlemen, let's get into the actual information starting right here. So here is the image we're referring to. Now, this is a rumor that I personally do not know what to say about. It is strange because it has probably legitimacy. And I'm going to open up another tab here so I can see this rumor myself. But um, here is the image, though. So, what's this about? Well, basically, this guy posted a, a image of Scandinavia, right? He included, you know, but he included Finland in there. Uh, so, he had Finland, Sweden, Norway, and Denmark. And he said, fun ID for Generation 8 is what he said. Fun ID for Generation 8. So do note that when we are reading into this, that he didn't call this a rumor, he didn't call this a leak, he didn't say anything like that, he just said, Fun ID for Generation 8. And he posted this exactly on, and we'll see right here, Tuesday the 20th of November. Tuesday the 20th of November 2018. Last year, aka last year, he posted this on a Tuesday. On the 20th of November. Now, note that the 20th of November was basically like five days after Pokemon Let's Go Pichu, Let's Go Eevee came out last year. So, he posted this shortly after those came out. And, uh, yeah, that was about it. It was posted at like 8, uh, 8 a.m. or something like that. And uh, he continues on to say these things. And this is where it gets really interesting. The first thing he says here is, Game names Pokemon Sword and Shield. Okay? He literally calls out, or this was like a few months before we actually got, uh, you know... This is several months before we got Sword and Shield revealed, because we got that in February, right, of this year. This was last year, okay? The first thing he says is, game names Pokemon Sword and Shield. So right there, he already predicted the name of the games. But here's where things get a little bit more complicated, because then he says, region based off of Scandinavia. Now, that wouldn't make any sense, because what we've seen so far off of the region we've actually seen, you know what I mean? The, the region we've actually seen so far just doesn't look anything... Like, you know, I mean, anything like the uh, the Scandinavian part of the world. It just doesn't look like that. You know what I mean? It looks far more um, like a, I don't know, like the UK. You know, that's what it looks more like. That's what it looks more like. And then here's the thing with the starter stuff, he says. Starters are a grass bug spider, a fire rabbit, and a water iguana. Now, funny thing is, the fire rabbit makes sense, and the water iguana thing kind of makes sense as well. But as for the grass bug, grass bug spider... It really doesn't. There is another rumor, though, you guys may have seen the other day, where somebody said it could be a grass bug Pokemon. Because it could be a spider a spider monkey, I think somebody said. Um, maybe like a spider monkey, which are these like weird, small, like, you know, monkeys that are called spider monkeys. Spindelopa in Swedish. Uh, Spindelopur. No, it's not right. Which is basically like spider monkeys. And this is what this could, could have meant here, because it have been like a weird illusion, uh, you know, weirdly alluding to that. Now, box legendaries are a dragon and a pegasus. One, of course, is a dragon, and the other is a fairy typing, which would be interesting. A new and rare type of Pokemon will be in this region called Elementals, which could be what we have in re reference from what we saw earlier today, if you saw my other video, where we talked about, which was referring to for a Fade set. Now, Fade specifically made a point about this, saying that this is what, you know, this could be some sort of hint towards that, that basically, you know what I mean, uh, that that rumor originally, the, the Scandinavian rumor, could have been referring to, you know, this change in Melmetal's color color to elemental forms. Basically, their, their, you know, their elemental forms are them changing their colors. That could be making a lot of sense. Now, if I could find that actual point from, uh, you know, from your boy here, I'll actually show it to you guys, uh, because he actually, you know, he made a lot of good points. Let's just put it that way. He made a lot of good points. So let's bring that up on the screen real quick, shall we? Uh, but here we go, guys. So um, if we look, you guys may remember this from the video earlier today, but we had Melmetal, which changed its colors. Um, you know, it changed when it touched Crystal specifically. And then he also went, you know, he kind of, this, I think right here, in this post right here, he kind of explains it again. So I'll just read through this quickly again, um, because it, it goes into the Scandinavian rumor. So if we assume that the armors in Gen 8 are a thing, and if we assume that the armors are made with the same metal of me uh, Mel metals, um, Mel metals, which reacts with gemstones, then we can imagine that the gems in the mines can be used slash attached to armors to change their colors. 
That would be that would exclude the elementals elemental armor thing Scandinavian rumor probably or not if we can find a creative way to impl implement that feature just an ID though or maybe it's just a glitch but I think not seems too too intentional and very specific I've tested also with similar materials like Manitons metal and metal or Alolan sandshrews reflected spikes but nothing happened so again, very interesting, but also very strange. And again, I'm not really sure what could be you know, happening here. But if we go back to the actual rumor uh, and we take a look at it, you will again, you know, notice that it continues on and says a bunch of other stuff as well, uh, which we'll talk about, you know, go through right now. But I want to kind of point out that elemental thing because he says, you know, Fade says that this could, you know, kind of like break that away, right? Take that out of the equation um, and whatnot, because, you know, well, think about it, right? Armored, armored evolutions, elemental evolution, uh, you know, evolutions or elemental forms. What was the more real one here? I don't know. By the way, he says here that uh, there is a new type of Pokemon in the region called Elementals. There's Elementals that res represent one of each existing type. Ooh, that actually would be making a lot of sense. Because if you look at the cave again, and we'll get an image here if I can, um, of the cave. There is something interesting about the cave that you will notice. And that's the fact that it looks very reminiscent, uh, or rather the... No, here, here we go, here we go, actually. This is perfect. So look here, guys. This is what we talked about earlier today as well. But um, if you look at... Uh, what Fade posted here. Look at this, right? Uh, if you look at the cave in Pokemon uh, Sword and Pokemon Shield, this cave has a lot of different gems with different colors, right? You've got, like, if you just look at this image right here, you've got, um, and I'm not sure if you guys can see the full thing, uh, but you can basically have uh, blue, you got blue, red, green, purple, like just in this one image right here, I see blue, green, purple, red, uh, yellow over there as well. I see a bunch of different colored gems. There are a bunch of them, which means that if there is one that represents each single, each and every single typing, you know, if there's one representing each, each and every single one of them, then would it really be surprising if that's, you know, if they were to have elemental, you know, evolutions, if, you know, by using those gems to some form and to some level? Who knows? Now, three of these elementals will act as a second uh, as a second starter for you uh, for you early in the game. Um, and the elementals, I guess, uh, let's see, they're elementals that represent one of each uh, existing typing. Three of these elementals will act as a second uh, second starter for your uh, for you early in the game. So the elementals would come in the shape of a Pokemon rather than an actual gem, I guess, is what this guy's trying to say. Uh, you will receive the flying rock or fighting elemental, which. Okay, makes makes an interesting point. A uh, new battle mechanic with, will be elemental armors. Ooh, okay. So here's where we get interested. This is what I'm, what I'm talking about, uh, where, you know, you would use the gems, <clears throat> gems or melmetal and stuff, you know, to make these armors. So what if you were to use the as these elementals uh, together with, you know, the gems and, you know, make armor out of that? Who knows? But, um... We continue down here. Uh, a new mechanic uh, will be elemental armors. Remember that this guy said elemental armors back in 2018, before we even knew Sword and Shield, what, you know, what the deal was going to be with that. At, uh, wait, at the cost of one elemental in your team slot, it will be equipped to a Pokemon on your team, giving it a secondary typing of the corresponding element. Example, Lucario would have its steel typing replaced with the dark typing if equipped with a dark elemental, which sounds... Pretty epic, actually. It sounds pretty intense, if I'm going to be frankly honest. Now, each elemental armor will also boost a certain stat. Example, flying will boost speed uh, speed tremendously, which would be interesting. And also, wait, and it will also grant an ability over the Pokemon's original. Example, overgrow would replace will be replaced with solid rock, with the uh, rock ele elemental equipped. Okay, that would be interesting. Box legendaries are the dragon and fairy elementals. Now, evil team will be the Vikings that, sim that simply try to conquer the region as well as, uh, as seized in the legendaries. Now, for those who do not know, I actually did a theory about this the other day, about Galar actually having Vikings being the uh, evil team in that generation. Um, I actually talked about this the other day in a video that I made. If you guys can check that out, please do. It's a really good video. I spent a lot of time on it and also got a lot of help from Dead Eyes Art making the, you know, the artworks to represent the Vikings. So definitely, you know, worth a check out. But, okay, so let's actually talk about this rumor in a more of a objective standpoint, right? One. This wasn't even posted as a rumor. This was more of a, you know, fun ID. That's the way it was presented. But what if this is actually some, uh, to some level, real? What if this is hiding some level of real, you know, things to it in the, you know, behind the facade, right? Behind the facade, is it really hiding something? Because that's what sometimes these people do, is they'll leave actual hints in, in the, you know, plain open sight, right? They'll leave actual information in plain open sight. And that's what I think could be happening right here. Now, the biggest discrepancy, of course, is the fact that it's saying a Scandinavian region, which we know we aren't getting because we're definitely going to region based on the UK more likely. If you look at the actual stuff we've seen so far, it looks far more like that than anything else. Um, I think we can establish that pretty much. Um, but the question is, 
is that what it is that what it is is that what we're getting is that what you know what's in front of us i don't know it's a really hard subject to kind of break down but again if the elementals are a thing then it would be pretty cool actually i think it would be pretty cool elements in the games to have like i mean element elementals lul. uh but it would actually be a pretty cool like thing to have dragon and pegasus pokemon sounds amazing um I actually wouldn't mind that at all. I actually think it would be, sounds amazing, uh, to be honest. But then again, we also have the final evolutions where they say grass bug, fire electric, and pure water. Uh, you know what I mean? For their typings. Um, you know what I mean? Like, as their final uh, final typings, and as well as them being, you know, a grass bug spider, a fire rabbit, and a water iguana. Now, Sobo really... I mean, I'm not sure if you can really call him an iguana. You, we do have a fire rabbit, though. But as for the grass, a grass bug spider, we don't really have a spider, but maybe a spider monkey. You know what I mean? Is what we have. So I don't know, ladies and gentlemen. This could be under like this could be underlying like you know an underlying actual piece of information here that is just being hidden by the you know a facade. So I don't know, ladies and gentlemen. I want to know your opinions though. What do you guys think about this? this is an old one, by the way. This came out in 2018, last year, ladies and gentlemen, before Sword and Shield was revealed. So let me know your, in the comment section down below your thoughts, your opinions, and thank you so much for watching. My name is Rolf Rallet. Have yourselves a great day, and bye bye, ladies and gentlemen.